on guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another episode of JTAG and RGH Tutorials Episode 4. In this episode we are going to be looking at how to install games on your Xbox 360, on your JTAG or RGH Xbox 360. If you haven't watched the previous three episodes I highly recommend you do that. Make sure you get XCX Menu, Dash Launch and Aurora installed as are shown in those three episodes. Um, and then you can come over to this video and we can look at installing some games. So. In this example, I'm going to install Black Ops 2 because that's still pre a pretty popular game for the 360. And um, yeah, if you can mod Black Ops 2 online as well, um, because it's backwards compatible, Xbox One users, you can join games with Xbox One users as well. So, but we're not going to be looking at getting online yet. That'll be a, that'll be a future tutorial. So, okay, so I've already got them all downloaded here, as you can see. So part one, right down to part five. So you know they're two gigs each, so two, four, six, eight, and about seven hundred megabytes. So quite large. Um, once you get them all downloaded, you need them all in the same folder. So I've all got them in the desktop folder right here, as you can see. So what you want to do is just select part one, right click, and extract here. Again, make sure you have WinRAR. I think these are WinRAR archives. Yeah, they will be. So make sure you have WinRAR or 7-Zip so that you're able to actually extract these. And you just want to right click part 1, extract it, and it will just go through and it will extract each part into this folder. Okay guys, if this happens, this might not happen for you. I don't know why that's happening actually. Um, but it says it can't find part 3 even though I have part 3 in the same folder. Um, so I'm just going to manually browse for part 3 so that... Um, so that it will actually work. Uh, so yeah, so you've got part five, part four, part two, part one. So part three is here. Select part three, continue. And that will continue extracting it. Now, that shouldn't really happen. Um, if all the parts are named correctly, then it should just go ahead and, and extract them all. Um, but if that happens and it says, hey, we're missing a part, we need part three, we need part four. Um, then just click browse, select part 4, and it will continue extracting. Okay, and once it finishes extracting, you will get the folder. And inside that folder, you will have the .iso, the disk image file, 8.5 gigabytes. That is our full game um, ISO right there. So what we need to do is we can't actually just put this file on the console and run it. We need to extract all the files that are in here to the console. So. What you want to make sure you do is that, again, you have a USB stick. So mine's still connected to my Xbox for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my computer. So this X, so this is my USB stick. I'm going to go ahead and close it. Make sure your USB stick is big enough to support uh, the, the game. So, you know, make sure it's, you know, above 8 gigabytes, basically a 16 gig USB stick or higher. Um, you can, of course, use FTP to copy it over. I might show you that in this video as well if you don't have a USB stick that's big enough. Okay, I was going to use um, Xbox Backup Creator for this, but I'm going to use uh, 360MP instead because this is a better application, really. I mean, it's, it's more stable. So what you want to do is just extract 360MP. Download for this will be in the description, of course. Go ahead and run it and wait for it to open. Once it opens, it'll say select ISO file. So you want to select the ISO file that's in this folder. So select ISO file down here. Here we go. So we select the Black Ops 2 ISO file. We open it. That gets loaded in here. Then we need to select an output folder. So that's where we're going to save this to. So I'm going to save it to my USB stick. Now I do want... Okay, it's going to create a game folder for us, so we don't have to worry about that. So we just need to select the USB, click OK. So all you want to do is just select the, the USB stick here, say yes to create the game folder and extract ISO. And then that'll start extracting to the USB stick. So it's created that COD Black Ops 2 folder. And if we go in here, you can see all the files are being added just now. Here we go. So we're starting to get so we're starting to get the .ff files and the BIC files uh, copied in here. So just leave it. It will take a little while to extract the whole thing because it's a an 8.5 gigabyte basically container full of uh, loads and loads of files for the game. So you're just gonna have to wait for this to finish. Okay. So once the files have finally been extracted, that took a hell of a long time, by the way. Um, so yeah, that happens. 
But uh, yeah, you can see all the files I've extracted here. You've got folders, loads and loads of files. Uh, Black Ops 2 is quite big. So a lot of the older games are, are quite a bit smaller, but Black Ops 2 is quite a large one. Um, so once you have the game extracted to your USB stick, you just want to unplug it from the computer and plug it into your Xbox 360. Okay, and once you're on the console, what you want to go ahead and do is head to XCX menu. Once XCX menu loads, press right bumper. That should take you to USB 0. If not, press X and then press A on USB 0. And then what you want to do is press Y on the Black Ops 2 folder or the game folder, whatever game you've been, uh, you've got. So then press X, head to HDD1. And I'm going to create a new folder in here called Games. Try and keep things organized. So we're going to do Games. And done. And that will create the Games folder. And then we'll go into the Games folder, press Y, and press A to paste that folder in there. So again, this is another thing that's going to take a while because it's got to copy all of those files um, from the USB stick all, all the way to the hard drive. It's got loads and loads of files to copy. So once again, you're just going to have to wait for this to complete. And once it's finished, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so here we go. We're almost finished. 99% and done. Okay, so it's copied over to HDD1 now. So all you have to do is just run, you can actually run the game from XCX menu, you just have to go into the folder with all the files, scroll down until you find the default.xcx or mp.xcx and press A to start it, and that will actually start the game. So there you go, Black Ops 2, and boom, we're on. Now, you can see the game version at the top is 7.0.1, which is the original version, There's you're not on the latest uh, game update. So what you want to do is head to Aurora which um, you should have installed. It should be set as your default dashboard if you followed the previous tutorials. And then you can add your game into Aurora. And the good thing about Aurora is it can give you the title updates that you need for the game. So um, all you have to do is make sure you have a valid IP address and that you're connected to the internet. Again, I went over that in uh, episode three, I believe, um, how to connect up to the internet. So what you want to do is go ahead and press start. Go to... Um, content, go to add and change path, select the games folder. So we've selected the games folder, select applications as a type of script data and then save. And then you'll see downloading items, it'll appear right here and boom, because we've connected to the internet, the stuff we did in episode 3, we connected to the internet, we added our Xbox Unity account, it automatically downloads the game covers for us. So to get the latest title update, the latest game update, you just have to press Y on the game, head to title updates, press A, and then press right bumper to go to Unity Marketplace, and this will display all of the title updates. If they're not showing up, make sure you've added your Unity account. Again, it's covered in episode 3. And select the latest game update, which is version 18, and press A, and that will download it uh, to your console. Okay, and once it downloads, you can then press left bumper, and that will take you to the downloaded title updates. And then you just have to press A to enable it, and now when I start the game, now this will only happen now if I start the game in Aurora. If I go back to XX menu and launch the game, it'll still be on the, you know, the, the original version. But if I start it from within here, because I've activated the title update, it'll apply the title update, so you can see there applying title updates and when that gets to 100% it'll launch the game and we should be on the latest update uh, version for the game, the same version that the uh, that you'd be on if you connected on Xbox Live basically. So I've got the game starting, don't know if I can skip this. Can I skip this? Yeah. Okay, so press start, hard drive, And game update should appear. Please configure your settings. Okay, I've got to do all this. Just adjust this really quick. Okay, so yes, graphic content. 
So let's head to multiplayer. And this time you should see we're on 44.0.1, so that we're on the latest title update now. Um, so yeah, that is basically how you install games. Now, what I will also show you is how to install the game if you can't, if you don't, if your USB stick isn't big enough. So your USB stick isn't big enough to transfer over the game. Okay, so let's say um, your USB stick is not big enough to transfer over the game to the console. So you can actually transfer games and any files actually over your over your network. As long as you're connected again with a valid IP address, you can actually FTP files over to your console. And you can also vice versa, copy files from the console back to your computer. So to do this, you need to be on Aurora and you need to press the start button and head down to uh, head down to modules. And in modules, you want to select FTP server and it will give you some information. Now, I'm going to change this to just Xbox as the username and Xbox as the password. This is only over your local area network, so it doesn't really matter if it's not very secure. So Xbox and Xbox as the password. So now, what I can do is I can go ahead and download, download FileZilla on the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and install FileZilla. Uh, nope, I do not want that. Install it just for me. Next, I'm going to change the install directory. It doesn't matter, you don't have to do that. I'm just going to install it, launch it, and then I can actually connect to my console by putting in the host as my IP address, which Again, I showed you back on the console was 192.168.137.171. Then the username, which I changed to Xbox. I also changed the password to Xbox and the port is 21. Then you just click connect and boom, that's it. It's connected to me. So you can see that this is my, uh, this is my Xbox file system. So we've got HDD1. There's games. There's where my Call of Duty is installed. And we've also got my computer on the right, so I can go into, I think my USB stick has actually got the, uh, let's go out here. So my USB stick here has got Black Ops 2. So if I wanted to copy this over, um, let's create a new folder in here just called temp game or something. So if I want to copy the uh, game from my computer to my console, I can just drag it from the computer to the console and you can see here it's copying all the files over to the console. So that's another way that you can copy files or copy games if the game's too large to um, copy directly onto the USB stick. So you can do that as well. Now another cool thing you can do if I just uh, cancel this Stop and remove all. So if I just cancel that, uh, you can also save it in the site manager. So if you open the site manager, you can create a new site called like RGH or something, and then put the information in here. So 137.171, port 21, put normal for user, Xbox and Xbox is what I set it to. And then I can click OK. So now, whenever I want to connect to the console, I just need to make sure I'm on Aurora, and then I can just click the drop-down menu, click RGH, and it will connect me to my RGH. So that's another way that you can copy games over if your USB stick isn't big enough. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. That is how you install games. Um, the next video might be... I might show you guys how to install games from a disk, copy disks to the hard drive, because... You know, you might have a bunch of Xbox 360 games on disc, actual retail purchase games that you want to install. And obviously you don't want to have to install it from random links on the internet. You might want to just put in your game disc and copy all the files from your game disc to the hard drive. And I'll show you guys how to do that in the next video. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did or found the information useful, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.